here with a sophomore pitcher, Michaela Brown. Michaela, uh, you're more than halfway through the season now, coming off an, an ACL injury. Um, I obviously missed all of last year, and, and you've been able to uh, to come back um, slowly but surely this year. Uh, first of all, just, just how is the knee feeling when you're going out there and pitching now? Oh, my knee's great. There's no pain. Besides the brace, there's nothing different. I mean, it feels good to be back. What, um, you know, you, you said after the Abilene series, you know, sometimes it, it's, it depends on the day, the, the way the knee reacts or, mm -hmm. or things like that. Is that becoming more consistent? Are you starting to be able to trust that knee more? Yeah, I'm trusting it more and I'm being more confident. Like I'm going out there just saying, you know, just do whatever. Don't think about it too much because that's when I tend to get in trouble. You mentioned um, you've had to shorten your stride a little bit. Um, can you kind of explain what the longer stride was doing and then adjusting to that shorter stride in the process that that takes? Well, the longer stride was like jarring my knee every now and then. That caused some pain at the beginning of the year. So they told me to shorten my stride, and that's helped actually, but I have to adjust to it and getting the ball down and stuff. So, I mean, it affects the location of the ball, where you're able to go with it. Um, you know, it, how long have you had the, the new stride, and, and is, it, is it just a continuing process of adjusting to that? I mean, it was like the third or fourth tournament of the year that I tried to change it, and I mean, it changes every game, so I just have to keep adjusting and adjusting, but it's, I'm working. What, um, you know, after watching for, for a whole year, and you pitched the first two games of, of 2016, but what has it been like just to get back on in the circle, to get back on the mound? Um, obviously, the, this pitching staff is one that's developing depth, but it's one that's had to rely on the, the top two or three mm -hmm. on the lot. Um, what, what has it been like to, to get uh, back in the circle and then to see that the staff develop as a whole? I mean, it feels awesome. I've, I mean, I've missed it definitely. I love the feeling of being out there. And then a big series with McNeese. Of course, any series with yeah. McNeese is going to be big. Two of the, the best programs historically in the last five or six years. Um, you know, what this team seems to be building. Got two wins against uh, Corpus on mm -hmm. the road last week, which was really important. Uh, you know, what's it? What's the feeling, what's the mentality like going uh, into the series with McNeese? We're just building. We're building on everything that we do. And with McNeese, we'll bring it to the top. And then, uh, you know, you face some, some really good lineups, whether it's Oklahoma, Florida, Baylor. McNeese is one of those lineups mm -hmm. that, it's, you know, it's, it's in the neighborhood with uh, hitters like Pian Castelli and, and, and players like that. What, as a player, do you, what's the excitement level or what's the... Um, the challenge of going against those girls. I mean, it's exciting, but you just have to focus on the location and focus on where you're putting it, because if you mess up once, they're going to... Michaela, thank you very thank much. Thank you.